No physical buttons? No problem. By default, the menu and home buttons and three favorites lie at the bottom bar. You can customize the main menu screen by simply tapping, holding, and dragging the icon to your desired position. You can also customize the home menu to your taste by tapping on one of the sections on the screen and getting into the edit mode. By clicking the bin icon, you can erase all current widgets and then choose your preference from the selection offered. The widgets come in different sizes to choose from to help you design your favorite layout. You can customize up to three favorites at the bottom that will remain present on any screen, any time. By tapping and holding the favorites icon, you will be offered various shortcuts for different vehicle functions. You can add a function to the favorites by dragging it to the bottom bar. Similarly, you can customize the control center on the top of the screen. By tapping and holding the icon, you get to the editing menu. Here you'll see the current favorites on the top and you can add new functions from the bottom selection. By dragging the icon, you can save it as a new favorite. By pressing the menu button, you return to your menu screen, no matter where you are. To change the volume, just drag the bottom touch slider left or right to decrease or increase the volume. To connect your phone to your Enyaq IV, go to your smartphone settings and select Bluetooth. On the infotainment display, tap Telephone and pair your phone with the car, which shall appear as a Bluetooth device. After successful pairing, you can sync your phone contacts to the Enyaq IV. To connect your smartphone apps and media to the car, click on SmartLink, then Apple CarPlay or Android Auto to confirm the connection. To connect your phone physically, simply connect it via the USB-C cable in the phone box. Wireless charging with compatible phones is automatically enabled when you place your phone in the phone box. Below the front air vents, you'll find a row of physical buttons. The set button displays the car settings and assist systems. The mode button displays the driving mode selection, where you can choose from any of the predefined modes or customize the individual driving mode. The climate button for climate control options. The climate max button for immediate strong air conditioning and the rear defrost button for defrosting the rear window.
Press the voice control button to activate the digital assistant Laura, who can help you with various functions. To shift into reverse, push the joystick up. To shift into drive mode, push the button down. To choose maximum recuperation, shift down one more time. To activate the auto hold function, press set, and then press the vehicle option in the menu. Scroll one tab to the right, and choose the brake option. Here you can turn the auto hold function on or off. We recommend adding this one to the favorites bar. The customizable recuperation function maximizes the range. Eco Assist sets up your car for automatic recuperation. To enable it, press set on the button bar, and then tap the assist systems in the menu, and then tap the list menu. You can even switch the Eco Assist on and off. Depending on your preference, you can choose the level of recuperation via the steering wheel paddles. With the right paddle, you select lower recuperation, and with the left paddle, a higher recuperation. You can choose from three recuperation levels with the selection displayed on the digital cockpit. Once you push the accelerator pedal, the recuperation will again be set to automatic. To manually achieve maximum recuperation, press the joystick to B position. When you shift to either reverse or drive, the respective camera automatically appears on the screen, the rear camera in reverse and the front camera in drive. You can also manually toggle between the cameras. With the side view, you can survey both sides of the car. Tapping the car icon opens a full-screen 360 view around your car. To manually engage the area view, press the Park Assist button. To set up your headlights, press Set on the button bar, and then tap the Vehicle option in the menu, and then tap Headlights. There you can switch on and off the dynamic light assist and dynamic cornering light features. For this to work, you need to be in automatic lights mode, which you can find by your left knee. Switch it on by simply pressing it. Here you can select the poor weather light that replaces the front fog light. And also switch on the rear fog lights. You can change the light sensor sensitivity from low, medium, and high. The automatic headlight control in the rain can be toggled on or off, along with a convenience turn signal. The easiest way to access the assist systems is by pressing set on the button bar, and then tapping the assist systems in the menu. There you can choose between all available assist systems and fine-tune them as per your preference. Or you can access the list menu, where you can easily turn the individual assist systems on or off, and also further customize them to your taste. Easy and intuitive. Just tap the navigation icon and enter your destination until it comes up. The navigation displays the current range and, if necessary, identifies a charging station on the way. Sliding the tab on the right edge enables an overview of your route. You can easily identify where you need to charge on the way, including the time it takes to charge and the estimated time of arrival at your final destination. If you want to select a different charging station, tap on the icon. And tap Other Charging Stations. Here you can select your preferred charging station. Confirm it and the route will be updated with charging at your selected charging station. To charge the car, just simply open the charging cap and plug in the charging cable. The flashing green light on the plug confirms that the car is being charged. On the screen, you can set the desired charge amount on the slider. We recommend an 80% charge for optimal efficiency. You can also turn on the option to release the charging cable after the charging has ended. 
We request you always to keep this option on and not to park on dedicated EV spots when you are not charging. Škoda. Simply clever.